This video will cover sketching circles, sketching ellipses, and sketching four different kinds of arcs. A circle is created with two mouse clicks. The first mouse click will place the origin of the circle. The second mouse click will create the diameter of the circle. You can also set the diameter by typing in the value on the keyboard after placing the center when the diameter value is highlighted before the second click. Just type in the actual diameter on the keyboard and press Enter. An ellipse is created with three mouse clicks. The first mouse click will place the origin of the ellipse, the second mouse click will create the first axes of the ellipse, and the third mouse click will create the second axes of the ellipse. There are four different kinds of arcs. First, we have Center, Start, End. On this one, the first mouse click will place the center of the arc. The second mouse click will create the radius and start point of the arc. The third mouse click will define the angle of the arc. Next on the list, we have Start, End, Radius. The first mouse click will create the start of the arc. The second mouse click will create the end of the arc and the third mouse click will define the radius of the arc. Then we have Tangent Start End. The first mouse click needs to be on a line that you want the arc tangent to. The second mouse click will define the radius and the end point of the arc. And finally we have an elliptical arc, and this is created with five mouse clicks. The first mouse click will place the origin of the elliptical arc. The second mouse click will create the major axes of the ellipse. The third mouse click will create the minor axes of the ellipse. The fourth mouse click will create the start point of the arc. The fifth mouse click will create the end point of the arc between the fourth and fifth mouse click. Depending upon which way you move the mouse, the result in elliptical arc may be different. Sketching 2D figures is the first step in creating 3D geometry. Circles, ellipses, and arcs are easy to create, especially if you have status hints turned on so Libre Design can tell you what it's looking for.